so you just spend hours creating a masterpiece, but your paper starts to buckle. This is the most frustrating thing that can happen to an artist, but there's a technique of stretching paper, which means it will never buckle. That'll stay completely flat. And this video is gonna show you how to do that. So let's get into it. Now, paper can get expensive, and the paper I was using is $52.60 a sheet. Now, this is watercolor paper, and watercolor paper is less prone to buckling because of its thick weight. That is why I use watercolor paper, so it doesn't buckle. But unfortunately, even at 650 GSM, my paper buckled because I was using quite a lot of water on it. So for my next piece, I decided I'm gonna try stretching my paper to avoid this problem. So the first thing I did is put my paper on a board. I wanted a board big enough because we're about to stick this down with some tape. So the first step that you want to do is just soak the piece of paper. Now I'm just using a sponge and a bucket of water and just soaking the whole thing. Now after this you want to flip it over and wet the other side as well. You want the entire thing soaked up. And this paper is actually cotton so it soaks up quite a lot of water. Now once your paper is completely soaked, you want to come in with this tape. Now this tape is great because once water is on it, then the adhesive starts to stick. So you gotta be careful with this because if you get a little bit of a wet, the whole tape is ruined. But what you wanna do, you wanna rip off lengths that are the width and the length of your piece of paper. And one by one, you're gonna wet each side and place it down just as you're seeing right now. Push it down with your fingers and then come through with that sponge again. You wanna get that soaked as well. And now you're just gonna put it in a dry shelf or just a dry space that you can leave for a couple of days. And once you come back, your paper should be stretched. One thing to know, if you do this method, you're gonna to have to cut it out. So I will be left with a piece of paper that is actually smaller than what I bought. Super easy process, and I highly recommend that you try this in your next piece so you don't waste 52 bucks like I did. And although I'm quite annoyed that this happened, I've learned from my mistakes. And I know for this next piece that I'm gonna do, that my paper's gonna be fine. So that's what you gotta do when you are creating. Creatives can't get everything right straight away. I can't get anything right straight away and neither can any creative in this world. You're gonna fail, you're gonna get paper that buckles. But as long as you take those lessons and apply them to your next pieces, then you're at no loss. Now I know I'm not reaching too many people with these videos, but if this was helpful, please leave a comment. I'd love to chat, see where you're at with your journey. Message me on Instagram at nkirknz. I'd love to see your work, love to help you on this journey. Please be my guest. Yeah, I won't ramble on, this video's not about that. It's about paper. And we've already finished, so, bye. <laughs>